19th Sunday after Pentecost. 19th Lord's Day after Pentecost. The lesson is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. In Elo Tempo Rei. At the time, Jesus spake by parables unto the chief priests and Pharisees, and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son. And so on. Homily by Pope St. Gregory, the Great. I remember that I have often said that, in the Holy Gospel, the church as she now is, is called the kingdom of heaven, for the kingdom of heaven is indeed the assembly of the righteous. The Lord hath said by the mouth of his prophet, The heaven is my throne. Solomon saith, The throne of wisdom is the soul of the righteous. And Paul saith that Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. From these passages we may clearly gather that if wisdom be God, and wisdom's throne be the soul of the righteous, and God's throne be the heaven, then the soul of the righteous is heaven. Hence also the psalmist saith, speaking of holy preachers, the heavens declare the glory of God. The kingdom of heaven, therefore, is the church of the righteous, even of them whose hearts seek not for anything upon earth, but who sigh so continually after the things which are above, that God doth already reign in them as he doth in heaven. Let it then be said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son. Ye already understand, my loving friends, who is that royal father of a royal son. It is indeed no other than he to whom the psalmist saith, Give the king thy judgments, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son which made a marriage for his son. God the Father made a marriage for God the Son, when he wedded him to the manhood in the womb of the Virgin, when he willed that he who is God before all ages, should in the end of the ages become man. The marriage union is the union of two persons, but God forbid that we should imagine that the one person of our Redeemer Jesus Christ, who is both God and man, is formed by a union of an human person with a divine person. We profess concerning him that he is of, and in two natures, but we shrink from the blasphemy of saying that he is compounded of two persons. It will therefore be clearer and safer to say that the marriage which the father made for his royal son was the wedding him, through the mystery of the incarnation, to his mystic bride the holy church. The womb of the maiden mother was the marriage chamber in which this union took place. Hence it is that the psalm is safe. In the sun hath he set his tabernacle, who is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber. Amen. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Potter, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen.